can I have more fun homeschooling? Hey there, welcome back to Ask Pam. That's today's question. But first of all, I'm Pam Barnhill. I have helped thousands of homeschoolers create doable systems, beat burnout, and bring more joy to their homeschool day. So we kind of know what we're talking about here. <laughs> Though I, I will tell you that like not every day is me doing cartwheels in my homeschool, right? There are some days where homeschooling is tough. There are some days where homeschooling is difficult. But how can we just overall bring a sense of joy and delight and fun to our homeschool days? That's what we're talking about. And then we had a related question. How do you stay fresh and excited for teaching a fifth child? I've done all this four other times already. And I feel like the answer to this question is going to be similar to the answer to the other one. I'm going to tell you that the way I do it is with morning time. Um, and the great thing about morning time is the posture of the mom in the morning time practice. So let me break this down for you. When you're teaching your kids spelling, or you're teaching your kids long division, or you're teaching your kids how to write a sentence, or you're teaching your kids how to read, you know all of that stuff already. And so basically, over and over again to each one of your children, you're showing them how to do it, sitting with them while they practice, and then helping them some more. And so that's the same process that you're doing over and over again with a body of knowledge that you already know how to do. But when we look at something like a morning time, this is where we can read all the great books that we've never gotten a chance to read before. This is where we can look at the art and listen to the music and do all the wonderful projects. This is where we can keep the nature journal. I don't know about you, I never got to keep a nature journal as a kid. So these are all of the things, learning the poems, saying the fun words that we can do in morning time. So when we do a morning time with our kids, we're not imparting knowledge that we have, but instead we're learning alongside of them. And by learning alongside of them, that is how we stay engaged. That is how we stay young. That is how we have fun in our morning time. So I will tell you, sometimes we do these live events. Actually, we do these live events a couple times a month in our Your Morning Basket membership. And not too long ago, we were doing one where we were writing a sonnet. And about part of the way through the event, I realized, I think these moms are the ones writing the sonnets here. I'm not so sure that the answers that they're typing in the chat box so quickly are necessarily coming from the kids. I think the moms are writing the sonnet. And you know what? That was totally okay because these moms were having so much fun trying to write a sonnet. And I think there is something really fabulous about you as the homeschooling parent enjoying what you're doing, enjoying learning new things. And the reason for this is because it does keep you from burning out. It does keep you excited about homeschooling, but also it allows you to model for your children what it's like to be a lifelong learner. This is something, this is a phrase that's thrown around a lot. Oh, I just want my kid to be a lifelong learner. I want them to enjoy learning into the future. And so my question for you is, how are you modeling that for them? How are you showing them what it's like to be a lifelong learner? How are you showing them that there is joy to be found in learning after you have left school. We've actually been joking with my daughter. She's newly graduated this summer and we went on a trip not too long ago to Virginia and my husband's like, oh, you could like make this educational and then count it as school days. And I'm like, no, 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 we can't because Olivia's with us and she's 18. She's not allowed to learn anything else. I've like lost my chance to teach her anything new the day she turned 18. And it's kind of tongue in cheek, but we all get these feelings in our head that if we haven't taught our child everything they need to know by the time they're 18, they can't learn anymore. Well, this summer showed that that was totally untrue. She learned tons on that trip that she didn't know, and she had a great time doing it. So how can we model lifelong learning to our kids and show them that learning continues even after they're 18. So I think morning time is the perfect way to do this. Go ahead and put some things in your morning time. And I'll link to a video I made actually just a couple of weeks ago about what should you put in your morning time where I talk about putting something in there that's enjoyable for you. 
putting something in there that you like to do, putting something in there for everyone, that everyone enjoys doing, even if it's different things for each person, so that homeschooling becomes more joyful for everyone. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have a question for Ask Pam, go ahead and put it in the comments below and I can snag it from there and make you a video. Or you can send it to info at pambarnhill.com. And if you're intrigued by the idea of morning time and you don't quite know how to make it happen, we've got you. Come on over to pambarnhill.com and click on the green Get YMB Plus button because your Morning Basket Plus is gearing up for a fall full of wonderful activities where we make morning time easy. So many different options in there, something that you and your children will definitely love. And I'll see you next week.